I know a lot of the country is really cold this weekend. We are negative four, or we were a little bit ago. Now it's starting to warm up. And that's not real unusual for us here in Montana. Usually we dip down into negative temperatures at least a couple times in a season. I think the coldest I've seen here was negative 25, and that was eight or nine years ago. <clears throat> but this morning I'm going to show you what I do for chores when it's this cold. I usually try to avoid anything that's not really necessary, so I'm not going to be cleaning out the chicken coop or sorting the feed or anything, but I just run out here quick and do my chores. And I'll save the things that take longer for when it warms up. So when the weather's this cold, I usually have something over my nose and mouth. Uh, a scarf or one of these funny looking hats are really helpful. And then I also put yak tracks on my feet that help with the ice. And those I wear most of the winter. I, last winter I actually took them off and then I had a pretty good fall in the ice and got hurt. So I try to make sure that I have these on. I'll show you here. <clears throat> They're basically like snow chains for your feet. <clears throat> so the chickens have been locked up overnight. I'm going to open the door and let them out. And then I'll, I normally keep their feed and water outside of the coop. When it's this cold, I'm going to put it inside for them. Um, the goat was locked in the hay shed overnight because we don't have a very good shelter for her out here. And then the horse, I bring warm water out for her. Um, we did have a heater in the water trough, but the last cold spell we had, it actually broke and I haven't been able to replace it yet. So I take a bucket inside and fill up warm water in the bathtub for the large animals. And then for the small animals, I'm going to bring a tea kettle out. And that's something I do every morning in the winter and in the evening if it's still below freezing. I just heat up a tea kettle with boiling water and then I bring that out and pour it over all the feeders to thaw. I've got a pal here. I put a blanket on my horse when it's below 10 degrees or if the weather's really bad because she doesn't have any shelter out here. I know blanketing horses is one of the most controversial topics in the world and everyone has a strong opinion over whether you should or shouldn't, but this is what we've been doing for years and it works well for us. Just adding the blanket when but it's really cold out if they don't have adequate shelter. In our area, the wind's really strong, so we've thought about um, putting up some kind of temporary shelter while we're on a rental, but um, every year we hear stories of shelters falling down on people's animals and the animals being injured, so it's probably safer for her to just not have shelter and add the blanket when we need it. I'm going to go get the rest of these animals some water. For the chickens and ducks, we already have a light set up to help with their egg production. So we actually use a clear heat bulb and we run it in the evening. Um, it's on an automatic timer, so it turns on when it goes dark outside. And then it's on for six hours this time of year. And so that warms up their coop. If I wasn't using that, then I would use a regular um, red heat bulb <clears throat> just on the cold nights. The red bulbs don't simulate egg production, the clear bulbs do. These ducks are pretty happy, they enjoy the snow. The chickens mostly stay inside their house. We give the large animals lots of hay when it's this cold out. Uh, about one and a half times what they would normally get. As their digestive system is processing the hay, it helps to heat them up. 